So who's ready to have some fun? Exactly. We are going to do that in this next session. It's been a great day. Um, we've got coffee outside. There's a little bit of caffeine. Um, but it starts to be a long portion of the day where that, we're in that post-lunch nap time. Um, so we're going to keep learning and keep this environment of, um, of learning new things, but do, thro do so through a game. And we've got some phenomenal contestants. And I know you all are going to give a tremendously warm welcome to this group. Uh, we let them know about one hour ago that they were going to be contestants on this. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more time than that. But we are putting them on the spot. So you're going to help me to make sure we don't do that. This is a time and really an opportunity for us all to learn, to learn through game and fun and an environment. And this is the team that's going to help us through that. So who's watched Jeopardy? Who's watched Jeopardy in the last year? Great, we have some diehard Jeopardy fans. Um, and we are gonna play Jeopardy. Unfortunately, the late Alex Trebek cannot be here. Jimmy Fallon was too expensive for the ABTA. So we're stuck with me today as your MC for this session. Um, and we're gonna use a Jeopardy board and a Jeopardy style game show um, format with three teams to learn about the brain and learn about brain tumors and brain tumor therapy. And there's also a little bit of opportunity to learn about the ABTA as well and some of the services that are offered through the ABTA. So without further ado, I will call our teams up. Looks like we're ready and we'll kick off the game. Team one. Team one is, please put a really warm ABTA welcome together for Chris and Bree. Team one. This is our team Brainiacs. Just look at them. You know they're going to win this show. I like it. Thank you, team. Team Brainiacs. Team two is Sarah and Nicole. Welcome, Sarah and Nicole. Team Titanium Cranium. We're in a good place here. We like that. Great name. And last but certainly not, not least is Leslie and Miranda. Bring in the heat. These is Team Legacy Fighters. You can see they're fighters. Watch out, that group on the end. Great. Thank you, teens. So delighted for you to be here and join our game show. Um, we are going to put them on the spot a little bit, but this is an opportunity to learn. And we're going to learn through these six categories that you see on our Jeopardy boards. I'll point your eyes to one of the screens here, and we'll walk through our... Um, our uh, topics. So the first topic is a piece of my mind. So we may learn about parts of the brain. Next is name that tumor. We talked about the breadth of neuro-oncology that we may see here as so we may look at different types of tumors. Exciting new treatments. We're all interested in hearing about exciting new treatments. Fourth topic, what does it do? What part of the brain is that? What does that do? The fifth topic about the ABTA, who are those ABTA nuts here? Get you in on that topic. And then your healthcare team, who are the people that help to contribute to neuro-oncology? And you can see these phenomenal team logos too. Look, we even got team logos. Well done. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dive into it. And um, Team Brainiacs is right here first next to me. So if you all wanna start us off, where should we go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My name is Chris Cook. I have a glioblastoma that I that I my first symptom started on December 2022, and here I am. I'm still vertical. And Chris is joined by this Bree. is Bree. Yep. Yeah, my name is Bree. I have a meningioma. My original diagnosis is in 2017, and I'm in wait and watch. Let's meet Team Two. I'm Nicole Shalmo. I am a six-year glioblastoma survivor and thriver. I'm Sarah. I'm Sarah. I'm her sister. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Hi, I am Leslie Ann Stone, and I was a caretaker for my mother who had GBM. And I'm Miranda Delaccio. I was a caretaker for my father um, who also had GBM. 
Thank you all so much. All right, we're going to dive into the board and decide where we start. We'll start with Team Brainiacs. What topic? Where do you want to take us? About the ABTA 100. Nice, excellent. So I'll read each question <laughs> before we even get to read it. This ABTA program matches you with a patient or caregiver for one-on-one -on -one support. What is the mentor program? Excellent, way to go. <laughs> Team <laughs> fighters. Oh my God. <laughs> even answered in the correct form of a question. This is great. What is the patient and caregiver mentor program? Really valuable program to connect with a mentor um, as, as a patient or caregiver walks through their journey. All right, on the end. Yeah, let's pause. So teams, do we understand the app? We're we do. Got I just it. didn't realize we had to like buzz right away. So <laughs> we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> but you answer correctly, so. All right, team fighters. Okay, we're going to stick with about the ABTA for 200. So this ABTA program connects you with a patient services staff member who can help you with education, resources, and information. A lot of deliberation. I think this is team Brainiacs. Thank you. What do you all think? You got it. What is the patient resource program? Very close, very <laughs> close. I like, I like that answer, not quite there. Any other team? It wasn't that. <laughs> I know, you really like that answer. I really I like, like that. Too. Can we just veto you? Can we just have that be right? I, I don't know if the ABTA is gonna you, like that answer. <laughs> you guys have anything? How about we open up to the audience? Any audience members know who this is? I think we got one hand up. Let's see if we can get a mic over. She's on our team. To you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we drafted. <laughs> get some audience participation. Thank you. The care line. Absolutely. Way, way to go. The care line. We also have prizes for you in the audience. I knew that. So taking home a prize for the care line. This is the care line. Um, a great resource uh, as well. Um, so thank you, great work. All right, we'll stay here with Brainiacs. We really gotta tell them it was wrong. <laughs> I think the audience just gets oh, that okay. one. All right, you take this one. Oh, good, back to me, huh? Uh, a piece of my mind for 100. Excellent, piece of my mind for 100. So this lobe of the brain no. is responsible for your vision, balance, and coordination. What? We're still working on the technology a little bit. All right, we'll go to the middle group, I think, who answered. What do you all think? And what we're is gonna the frontal lobe? Focus mostly on the balance and coordination balance part. Balance and coordination. Of what is the lobe of your brain? Although we're in no, I like your I like your your frontal lobe. That's a good guess. <laughs> but wrong. It's, it's wrong. It, the other. It lobe. is a lobe. The other lobe. It's, the lobe by that lobe. lobe. Close. <laughs> it's not. It's not the there, lobe right next to that lobe. It is the lobe right next to that lobe. Excellent job. <laughs> Coming in at second, I think it's occipital lobe. If we go to the answer. <laughs> If you couldn't tell, we're not physicians it is occipital lobe. or clinicians or anything. But we're going to give you points because we actually, it was actually a terrible answer, a ter terrible question, because vision and balance are completely different parts of the brain. So, um, so we were looking for occipital lobe. So you got lobe right, so we're going to we give you the, the answers right. anyway. So vision is one of those interesting parts of the brain. It really comes in from the front, goes in through the eyes and the optic nerves, and where vision is centered in the brain is all the way in the back. And this means that, that almost wherever the tumor is, vision can be interrupted in some way. Optic pathway gliomas, which are gliomas on the optic nerves, can interrupt vision. Deep midline gliomas can interrupt vision as it centers and relays in the middle part of the brain. 
And then gliomas and glioblastoma, which can be out in the lobes, can affect vision, um, particularly if they're, they're in the back of the brain. And vision is a tough symptom. Many symptoms are rehabable and will get better and improve over time and with physical and occupational and speech therapy. Vision is tough. It tends to be more difficult to rehab. So as we're thinking about functions and how to improve functions, this is one we're often working, looking for ways to live with and around that symptom as, as opposed to rehab it. So great job. We give you the points anyway. All right, so we're going to move to Team Titanium. Where do you want to take us? Let's go to your healthcare team, 500. We can skip all the way down, oh, right? I like it. Yeah. This healthcare team member. It's you. I don't think that's us. Oh, that's she knows. That. That. Helps with education resources, appointments, symptom, side effect and management, and more. And Mindy, maybe you can help us with who's answering. Because I'm just hearing a lot of noises. Oh, wait, do we have to answer it? Do we have to answer it? Titanium cranium. You buzzed it. Buzzed first. Cool. Did you buzz without knowing the answer? Way to go, Sarah. Go, Sarah. Who is this? Um, Team member that helps education resources appointments. They were part the, of our um, tumor board this morning. It was Sarah's job. Sarah's job from this morning. What was Sarah's job? Uh, <laughs> Um, it was Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's here somewhere. Um, <laughs> nurse navigator. There we nurse go. I, I was about to say nurse organizer. Absolutely. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> and there she is. So extremely important role and member of the healthcare team. Oh, good. This is someone you, you may meet right at the beginning, but not always. And so this is a care team provider to ask for. Most cancer centers will have a nurse navigator program, and if you haven't met your nurse navigator, do ask, and that's something that's a good thing to ask for and certainly appropriate. So, All right, Team Titanium, I think we're staying with you. Um, we're going to go with um, what does it do for 500? What does it do? Man. Bold team. Bold move, Cotton. <laughs> this what? part of the brain is responsible for what? And it's pointed to that line around the brain, that white line that is surrounding the brain. Was that a buzz in? Mm -mm. It was the time's oh, no, up. That's us. That's us. That is, oh, that is you. Go. What is the brain barrier membrane? Really close. We're going to give you answers that. for that. We're going to count that. <laughs> Because the blood-brain barrier is really important. Yep, and so that that's a great be. answer. I like blood-brain barrier. Bl the blood-brain barrier, you, you can't see. Mm -hmm. It is that membrane that exists between the blood vessels and the brain that is one of the biggest sticking points in developing treatments for brain tumors. It's what makes brain tumor therapy so different from cancer therapy anywhere else in the body because it prevents all of the drugs and agents that we would use to treat cancer from getting to the brain tumor so you can't see it. This is a really important membrane that circles outside of the brain called the dura, and it protects the brain and the spinal cord and the, the spinal fluid and those contents. And cancer can affect that membrane, although it's often metastatic cancer, and we call that leptomeningitis or leptomeningeal disease. So great answer. Close. All right, where do we go next? Uh, name that tumor 400. Name that tumor 400. Mm, this is what happens when cancer spreads into the spinal fluid at the lower part of the spinal cord. Brainiacs? What is... How do I put this into words? I can... It's the word I just said. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. It's where the, the leptomeningeal disease. That Absolutely. <laughs> that is exactly right. Excellent. Thank you. And really important answer. Thank you. It was right on the tip of your tongue. I could see it right there. Us too. So this is that third front. It was there. And we heard Vinay Gandhi talk about how we think about cancer and approach treatment for cancer 
We think about systemic disease or cancer in the body. We think about brain tumors, cancer in the brain. And that third front is, is uh, cancer or tumors that have affected the spinal fluid. That's very difficult to treat. It's not only behind the blood-brain barrier, but behind the blood-spinal fluid barrier. And so we think about very different treatments when a cancer has involved the spinal fluid than when it may be somewhere else. And that often requires a very multidisciplinary team. Excellent. Way to go. All right, staying with your you team. We'll do exciting new treatments for 300. Exciting new treatments for 300. We got this. This is the medication that was recently approved by the FDA for WHO grade 2, the low grade IDH mutant gliomas. Mindy's going to have to tell us, Mindy. Legacy fighters. Legacy fighters just got it in there. But vanacinib? Yes. Vanacinib? Yes, I've been yeah. studying this. <laughs> I heard voracidinib. I don't know what you heard. That's okay. what I heard. We were gonna, We were going to say the, the V1. We one. I love it. Leslie beforehand was like, I have studied so hard to make sure that I, I know you're going to ask about voracidinib, and she got the question. So that's a, that's a win. Excellent job. So voracidinib, if we take anything home from this meeting today, we're going to take home the excitement about this new medicine for low-grade gliomas. It, it cannot be overstated how important this is for the field and for many patients and caregivers um, who, are, um, who are living with uh, low-grade gliomas. So great job. All right, Team Legacy Fighters. We're going to do your healthcare team for $100. This is the title of the healthcare team member who removes the tumor. Who is first? No, you got it. I think yes. Brainiacs. This is the Brainiacs. Go first. Brainiacs. Oh, that finger is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is a neurosurgeon? Yes. <laughs> we heard from Dr. Stephen McGill this morning, the tumor neurosurgeon. All right, staying with you, Brainiacs. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to go back to the ABTA for uh, 300, 500, 500, ABTA. How about four? To the five? left. I think we've already. Oh, oh five, yeah. there we ABTA go. ABTA for down 500. One. Down. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Very specific. It's a good question. This is ABTA's online support community where brain tumor patients, survivors, and caregivers can come together to share experiences and support one another. And this is a daily double, so it's worth a thousand. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A lot, no pressure. Online support community. Online support community. Titanium cranium. Titanium cranium. I didn't mean to buzz. <laughs> it's too late. You, but you're gonna guess. I should know this. It creates connections online. With, um, Roy just gave a very big support hint. Support communities. What, what is social media? It's not a play on words, um, but it is a really important method to connect individuals together. What is connections? Connections! <laughs> so this is the ABTA's online support so community. Connections. Great opportunity, like something to check out online on the ABTS website. All right, Legacy Fighters. About the ABTA for 400. This event is happening this Sunday um, through September 21st to raise money for brain tumor research and patient services. That Some would be Brainiacs first. Virtual BT 5K. Yes. Very nice. That's a great picture. So now's the time. Sign up. Great opportunity to contribute wherever you are. And you don't even. Ooh, sorry. You don't even have to do the whole walk in one walk, or you don't have to run. You could walk like half a mile one day, and then half a mile the next day, and then it's really great. <laughs> Bring all your friends too. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, staying with you all. Oh, oh, you pick the side. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, the two 
exciting new treatments for 400. So this image shows a type of treatment that can help reduce the side effects and memory loss that are most common with this treatment. Brainiacs. Is this a, oh, this is a big question. What, <laughs> what is proton uh, uh, radi radiology? Yes, we're going to go with it. Great answer. And this is a type of radiotherapy, radiation therapy, that actually often doesn't use protons. It's traditional, conventional, what's photon radiation. But what we're looking at here is two areas of the brain that are spared from the radiation. And those are called the hippocampi. That's where memory is formed. So this is called hippocampal avoidance whole brain radiation therapy. One of the biggest toxicities from radiation therapy to the whole brain is memory loss. And um, over the last five to seven years, uh, our radiation therapy, therapy colleagues have developed this type of radiation therapy to prevent memory loss, hippocampal avoidance, whole brain radiation therapy. It is now the standard of care for treating brain metastasis where whole brain radiation therapy will be considered. And so that's something to ask the radiotherapy team about if you're seeing them for brain metastasis. Great job. Can we do exciting new treatments for 500? We can do it. All right, this type of radiation treatment is less likely to damage nearby healthy. Is that the, what is the photo something? That is, well, who's our team? Titanium cranium. He buzzed yes. first. Yes, what is the, the photo radiation thing that he just what said? What is proton Thank radiation you. therapy? <laughs> proton I like photo. it. What he just said. Absolutely. Well done. So that's proton therapy, which is another way to reduce the side effects of radiation therapy. Proton therapy. Well done. Oh, um, let's go to your healthcare team, 200. This healthcare team member is the one who prescribes chemotherapy. Legacy fighters. Legacy. Who is a neuro-oncologist. Perfect. Well done. We met Aaron Dunbar this morning. A lot of neuro-oncologists around. Critical part. Maybe the quarterback, I think, was said, of the team. So much pressure. Which one? Um, let's do a piece of my mind for 200. This lobe of your brain controls motor function, personality, and executive functioning. Legacy fighters. What is frontal? Frontal, there you go. Good job. I think we've heard frontal right twice, so that's tough. This is the frontal lobe. It's the motor lobe, motor function. It's also involved in other, all those other things that help make us who we are personality, inhibition, disinhibition, um, those types of functions as well. It's the largest lobe. It takes up over kind of two-thirds of the higher cortex of the brain. All right. Legacy fighters. Let's do, oh, you know what? Let's clear out about ABTA for 300. This program takes place several times throughout the year to provide you with a 60-minute presentation on common brain tumor topics. Brainiacs. Is it the webinar series? It is the webinar series. Excellent. Anyone been to a webinar? Excellent. Great. Lots of hands up. These are great opportunities to learn even between the meeting and with the excitement around IDH inhibitors and those sorts of things. A great way to get information that is coming out um, through the ABTA. Great. All right, Brainiacs. Um, what does it do for 100? This area of the brain is responsible for what? And there's an arrow that's pointing to this place in the brain called the cerebellum. Legacy fighters. What is balance? Balance, excellent, good job. <laughs> So that is, that's the balance and coordination center of the brain. We often think of it as coordinating motor balance and motor coordination, but it coordinates everything. 
coordinates speech and language, eye movements, and even some thought. There's a type of surgery that's done to take out a tumor at the high, the upper end, the superior part of the cerebellum that can lead to difficulty with speaking even afterwards, even though speaking doesn't come from this part of the brain. So it is the mini brain. It's the massive, it's the, uh, the central coordinator of all of the things that the brain does. Great job. All right, let's do what does it do for 400? Ooh, this part of the brain helps you to do what? And we're pointing to a nerve, and that nerve is going to this part of the brain or face that has an earlobe next to it. Yeah. Brainiacs. Brainiacs. What is hearing? What is hearing? <laughs> and we're going to combine hearing with balance because these two <laughs> nerves travel together. The vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerve help you to hear and control balance function. We actually heard at noon today um, from, uh, uh, from our noon guest about that event that took his hearing away, and that was a problem. That was a, a virus that affected this nerve, this vestibular cochlear nerve. There's a tumor called a vestibular schwannoma that can affect that nerve, and it becomes extremely problematic because it affects hearing and, um, and balance function and can be quite difficult for patients um, and co-occurs with a tumor, a, a, a tumor predisposition syndrome called NF2. All right, Brainiacs. What does it do for 300? What does it do for 300? For 300. This part of the brain does what? And we're pointing to this whitish area, grayish area, that is called the corpus callosum. All right, we've stumped our panel finally. <laughs> Took us a lot of questions. Finally. Audience, any idea what this part of the brain does? We've got a hand over here. Connects the two hemispheres. I like the assist from this side. I think we get two prizes in the audience. Yes, exactly right. This connects the two sides of the brain. The corpus callosum is that master highway connecting the right to the left side of the brain. So good job, audience. Well done over here. I have to give somebody some points to be able to move on. So titanium cranium, titanium. we'll give it to you. Yes. Well done. Thank you. You got an assist. I like it. Come you up like on. You like pity points. Just we, we. <laughs> All right, We're titanium cranium. Where do you, you want to go next? Oh, gosh. Sarah sees a good one. What'd you say? You said a piece of my mind for 400. A piece of my mind for 400. A tumor in this lobe of the brain may cause changes in sensation. Legacy fighters. What is parietal? What is parietal lobe? Is right. Excellent. Way Thanks. to go. <laughs> this is a really important part of the brain that often goes unrecognized. So tumors in this area may present later than in other areas. Um, this is where the, the major sensory regulator, sensory home is of the brain. This is an area that can cause a lot of motor loss, dysfunction in motor um, uh, performance that can be rehabbed because the problem with movement is the sensory relay that's occurring and that's something that can get better with physical and occupational therapy. That's one of the things that we think about when, um, when counseling patients with tumors uh, in this location. So great job. All right. Next, Legacy Fighters, where do we want All right, to go? a piece of my mind, 300. All right, Ooh, it's getting harder. This part of the brain makes you really, really angry and maybe sometimes a little bit anxious. Brainiacs. What is the frontal? Close? Frontal is close. It's very close. Yeah but not quite right. We're looking for something else that makes you really angry and anxious. Any thoughts on, on that? Frontal lobe's a great guess. It is not really a lobe. Sure, absolutely. 
We're all amongst friends here. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know how to describe that. I just think it's the thing that Oblong Gata thing. Yes, that's really <laughs> close. The Adula Oblong Gata. Yeah, the, the Adula. amygdala <laughs> is exactly right. I also yes. heard amygdala. Yes. I don't know what everyone else did, but well done. <laughs> For me, it was the Adam Sandler thing. What is Adam Sandler also would have worked? We would have gotten that. Excellent. Yeah, this is, the, this is the amygdala. This is a deep part of the brain. And a lot of times emotions and those sorts of, of functions come from the deeper um, part of the brain. You can see it in this uh, schematic. Um, and this is important to recognize for the treating team is just what are those areas of the brain that are involved in a tumor and how might that, might that influence someone's response um, uh, to treatment over time. This is a part of the brain where even if it's not affected by the tumor, is going to be a part of that treatment journey. During treatment, there are periods of time where anger and anxiety or fear and challenge, you know, creep in. And so it is a part of the whole treatment to be thinking about how we balance and rebalance all of those parts of the brain. Came up at noon as well as you know, how can you find outlets? How can we all find outlets to manage those up and down times? So, Brainiacs, I gave you your points back, but I, since I initially buzzed you, I still have to give someone else points to move on. So, titanium, titanium cranium. Titanium cranium takes a steal. <laughs> yes. Look at that steal. Good it's job. Great team. Woo. We're doing real good. You know you have to choose again, though. No, oh, you're up. You stole the points. Stole I think points, you get so to take us where we go. Next. It's all on you now. Um, well, we're doing really good with the peace of my mind, so we'll just stick with that for 500. Peace of my mind for 500. A tumor in one of over. these areas of the brain may affect the ability to follow commands or the ability to speak. Language function, speaking. Ideas, team. What is temporal? Temporal. I'm not very confident. Yes, we're going to give you temporal. <laughs> it may not be on the slide, but it is a great guess. It's two I areas of the brain. I love how generous you're being. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not Alex Trebek, so that's fine. Um, I've been fired from Jeopardy, clearly. So there's two areas of the brain that are vol involved in language, and we call them by these names, Wernicke's and Broca's area. The Wernicke's area is in the temporal lobe. So you get points for that. The Broca's area is in the frontal lobe. And this is really important. We learned this morning that language is, is a part of the dominant side, dominant hemisphere of the brain. And in the vast majority of individuals, language will be on the left side of the brain. But there are some patients who have language represented on the right side of the brain. This becomes extremely important in surgical planning and thinking about the effect of surgery when um, uh, when doing a craniotomy for a tumor in one of these areas. So. Great job. Temporal seemed close. I think I saw it on the slide there. All right, Brainiacs. All right, what does it do for 200? We'll finish it out. This part of the brain helps you to do... Titanium cranium got that first. C. C. Excellent. <laughs> the optic nerve helps you to see. Even the creepy little eyeballs out there. There's a creepy little eyeball. The radiologists <laughs> love the creepy eyeballs. The rest of us find this picture somewhat alarming. It's too much. All right. Titanium cranium. So let's go with your healthcare team for 300. This healthcare team member can help with managing finances. Legacy fighters. Care. What is a social worker? Excellent. Way to go. Interesting. I would not have said that. For those that don't know Vince Rock, he's fantastic. As are all social workers and case managers. This becomes a critical part of the healthcare team for any patient, certainly in the cancer center. All right. Legacy fighters. Let's do your healthcare team. Close it out for 400. This healthcare team member analyzes brain tumor tissue. Legacy fighters came in first. Who is the pathologist? The neuropathologist. Well done. We met Shaq Ram Kassoon this morning. 
provides a critical role in that initial evaluation often of a tumor. All right, exciting new treatments, 200. This minimally invasive surgery removes a tumor by burning it, which is a process we call thermal ablation. And here we're looking at the track of this treatment as it is inserted into this deep tumor. It is lighting it up. With a, this is a track of a, of a mm, excuse me, well, let's buzz in on that one. Excellent, Brainiacs. Um, what is laser? What is lasers? Absolutely right. That's right. Well done. <laughs> lasers. Who knew? So this is called laser interstitial thermal therapy. It is a laser treatment. It's an ablative treatment, and it is most effective for those tumors that are deep in the brain. You can see this tumor is in an area of the brain around the thalamus, an area you wouldn't want to go in and openly resect. And so this is a new surgical technique that is highly effective in killing the tumor cells in this area and minimizing side effects. This is one of the tools that the neurosurgeon would be considering for deep tumors that previously have been considered non-operable. It's a great, great answer. LIT is the name of that therapy, L-I-T-T. That's what the kids say these days. <laughs> <laughs> um, exciting new treatment for 100. This is a device-based treatment that slows the division of cancer cells for glioblastoma patients. Oh, that was a close one, but Legacy Fighters came in first. Oh, I was crazy. just got there. What is Optune? Excellent. What is Optune? <laughs> or tumor treating fields. Excellent. Great job. Uh, okay. Let's do name that tumor for 100. Name that tumor for 100. This is the most common type of brain tumor, but it doesn't start in the brain. It travels there from another part of the body. Titanium cranium. It travels there from another part of the body. Oh, man, I'm going to lose all the points you got for pity points. You got this one. You got <laughs> Troubles this one. Troubles are from metastases? Brain metastasis. Brain metastasis. Well we done. Go. Excellent job. Woo. Woo. Way to go. Brain metastasis, it's the most cream. common type of brain tumor. Way to go, titanium cranium. We have points. Oh, I guess that's all the... Name it's... that tumor for 200. Got it. This is the most common type of non-malignant brain tumor. Benign brain tumor. Brainiacs. What is meningioma? What is meningioma? Is correct. Great job. Excellent. I hope work. I know the tumor I have. Oh, I think. Oh, should we do 300 or 500? <gasps> Toss All up. right, let's do 500. All right, 500. This type of tumor can be associated with a familial syndrome. Mentioned, this is one of those vestibular schwannomas, the tumors that is traveling out along the vestibular nerve, the ear nerve, the hearing nerve. It's seen in patients. We have tumors that can run in the family. It's called. Audience. Audience. Phone a friend. Yeah. Anyone in the audience? This type of. Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> Oh, it stumped, stumped everybody. Even the audience. Neuroma. What? Acoustic neuroma. Excellent oh. job. Acoustic neuroma nice. is the type of tumor, and that's seen in this syndrome called NF2. Great job, audience member. Thank you. Yes. Acoustic neuroma. Great job. Titanium cranium. I gave you the points. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I guess we just have the one left. Let's do name that tumor Let's for 300. It. Daily double. Ooh. This is oh, the most really common type of malignant brain tumor. Brainiacs Mindy, got have? it first. Brainiacs <sighs> won it first, all right. What is glioblastoma? Glioblastoma, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Excellent job. Teams, you have done a phenomenal job. Let's give it up for all of our teams. Phenomenal would be one word for it, maybe. I know, stressful, but we're not quite done. We still have final Jeopardy most important parts. So teams, let's kind of see where we are points wise. Maybe we can get an assist from yes. 
Please Maybe. enter your wages. Work together, and I believe the captain of your team will have to enter what you want to wager. And where are we? Oh, sorry. As wagers. of right now, uh, team number one is Brainiacs at 3,800. Team number two is Legacy Fighters at 3,200. And team number three, Titanium Cranium, is at 1,500. The category for Final Jeopardy, by the way, is about the National Conference. The audience is in suspense. <laughs> All right, so Brainiacs have wagered, Legacy Fighters have wagered, and now Titanium Cranium. So here we go. All right, here is our clue. This is the number of people who registered for this year's ABTA National Conference, both is virtually and in person. It's closest the, without going over? Yeah, we can do prices right. Yeah, closest yeah. without going over. You have four seconds. Think of a good number. Legacy fighters, have, there we go. Titanium has answered, and Brainiacs have answered. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with start with let's start with Brainiacs. Brainiacs. Can we see what they wagered? Do do you say it or do we say it? You will say what you so. You, Brainiacs, you guessed. We, we guessed. Wait, hold on, sorry. Wagered one. That's your wager. That's your wager. Yeah. Sorry, Brainiacs sorry. wagered one. Very so conservative what is your, wager. We have wager. no confidence in ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what we're saying. So what did you say for your answer? We, 823, right? And we said 823. Okay. 823. Tied Too low. Again. Good guess. Needs but to it, be a lot it, higher it than that. So, titanium cranium. I don't know. A twenty-three. You can't change your answer. <laughs> no, you cannot change your answer. <laughs> it will show up what your answer was when we go to the next screen. Do you have what I put in? Because I forgot. Uh, I can't see what you put in until later. All right. So, sure. but you Here's wagered. I wagered five hundred. Look, 500. click so on we'll view answer out. on the bottom right. See, I did forget a zero. Wait, what was yours? <laughs> there we go. There Thank we you. go. Way too low. I forgot a zero, but I didn't want to go. Good guess. I, good guess. That may be, yeah, that's good. Yeah, good close. And legacy A little fans. low. We're going a little bit higher than that's that. That's fine. It's a good guess. And our last game, wager 3,200. We bet it all, baby. That's right. Way to go, legacy fighters. Yeah. Pretty sure. They're pretty confident. I'm pretty Ooh. sure Ralph said this morning upward of a thousand in his opening remarks. So we said one thousand twelve. Still too low. Wow. How about that? So the final answer. Ooh. Audience, Closest any audience without. guesses? Fourteen hundred, a little high. But we're right at that. Thirteen oh six, I think. 1306, which I'm yeah. pretty sure means all teams win is what that means. <laughs> so let's hear it again for each of our participants and teams. Great job. And a tremendous thing that's happening here. So here in the room, you know, we're seeing community being built and new treatments being discussed and the field being advanced. What we're not seeing in the room is all of those other participants who are committed to this meeting and this cause and bringing their knowledge to our collective learning. So thank you all who are here in the room who are joining virtually um, an exciting and fun way to learn brain tumors this afternoon. And thank you to you as well for hosting. Thank you guys. The winner is Legacy Fighters. Second place is Brainiacs and third place is Titanium Cranium. Woo! Emily and Vanessa will be bringing up prizes for you. Thank you so much for participating.